you know. Pump it up, the reds are going up. Jerry's Red Army, Kirk here, match reaction to Bournemouth 1, Millwall 0 in game 46 in the Championship and it was a lovely day in Bournemouth today and we, it was party time, party time and we wanted to soak it up and uh, we just had to get a professional performance done but before I talk about the match and, and how it went and how we celebrated at the end... No match day vlog on Cherry's Red Army for this game. We've done a match day vlog for nearly every home game, but I just wanted to soak up this game with the naked eye for a change. So no match day vlog. But I would suggest heading over to Back of the Net, friends of ours. Sam Davis, I'm sure, has done a match day vlog. So head over there and I'm sure you'll see some great content. But for this game, we just didn't have anything to play for. We'd already done the, done the work. We'd done the job on Tuesday. We had confirmed promotion to the Premier League. But Millwall did have stuff to play for they were trying to get into the playoffs so we needed to do a professional performance we want to sign off this league with a good performance and turning up prior to kickoff we were wondering how many changes would Scott Parker make with some players fringe players that haven't had much game time come back in and it was only the three only the three in the end which is fair enough three changes and we started the game pretty well. I, I thought it was a relaxed performance and we've said time and time again this season that we needed to play with some calmness. I felt at times this season we played poorly and we've struggled at times because we've tried to force the pass or we've tried to overplay it and overthink it. And because the pressure wasn't on today, there was none of that. No unforced errors. We were, we were OK in, in the first half. We controlled the ball well. Um, yeah, we were pretty much dominant. The main chance in the first half came from Emmy Marcondes. Uh, that was about it, but it did go in at half time, nil nil. And although there was no goals in the game at this time, there was a half time crossbar challenge that we took part of a few weeks ago. And the journalists, Dorset Lives, Jacob Tanswell, Athletics, Ahmed Shubal, Mike Botto even had a go himself. And Mike Botto, who presents the crossbar challenge, he went and did this. So, all we had to do in the second half was just finish the season, score a goal, score a couple of goals. Emmy Marcondes thought he had scored. He scored on the opening day of the season against West Brom, and he thought he had scored on the last day of the season. It was ruled out for offside. And then Scott Parker made a change. He took off Emmy Marcondes and brought on a club legend, well, will be in the history books, Kiefer Moore, who scored that vital goal on Tuesday. And a quick throw in let Kiefer Moore through on goal. He could have slid the ball to a teammate for an open goal, but he wanted to, he wanted to sweep this week up. Champagne all over it and a tidy finish, one-on-one. -on -one. Keeper had no chance, and it's Keeper Moore's week, and it's AFC Bournemouth's week as well. And it would end 1-0 to the Cherries. We leave the Championship, an absolute beautiful league. Love it, absolutely love it, but we need Premier League football. We need the financials that come with that, because we want to continue as a football club and be the best that we can be. It's been an absolute great season. There were celebrations at the end. There were some awards handed out. By the way, Mark Travers completely almost sweeped up everything as much as he, he sort of swept up his 20th clean sheet today. And he is the best goalkeeper in the championship. Don Solanke as well, 29 league goals. Nearly got to 30. He, he was desperate for the ball. He was asking for the ball late on. He wanted it. Um, he couldn't get 30 in. The only good thing to come out of that is that I get to keep my bar now. So, um, but a great season for Dom Solanke. And now, now we just need to know whether Dom can do it in the Premier League as the main man, as he will be next season. But it was great to celebrate in the stadium. It was great to take the time with the players. Scotty Parker, he was mixing with the fans as well. He was showing his natural charisma that we've seen in the last few days and that's what we want to see next season we want to see more of that sky so we've enjoyed this season on cherry's red army we're not going anywhere just changing the camera angle because my arm was getting a little bit heavy there so we're not going anywhere on cherry's red army 
we will put out a few more videos between now and the end of May. I'm sure of that. We'll, we'll mop up the season. We'll have a look at a season review. Something like that. So just make sure you hit that notification bell. But Cherry's Red Army will be Premier League. But we will have a break in June just to take a breather and refresh. And the fans are still celebrating outside the Cherry's. Look, still celebrating. We'll be celebrating into the night into the night we will be celebrating but make sure you subscribe to cherry's red army because we are so so close to 1000 and that would put a little cherry on the top if we could get there as we go into the premier league also hit the like button on this video if you watched the game in the stadium if you watched it wherever you are in the world let us know your thoughts in the comments it played out perfectly for the cherries today we got the job done we finished this championship season we head to the premier league in august and we mix it with the big boys. Thanks for all your support this season. Thanks to our Cherries Red Army supporter members. We're going to Premier League, lads. We're back, baby. Up the Cherries.